strikers or goal scorers who will score, say, 20 goals this season? Because that's the sort of numbers you need, isn't it, for some success? Yes, I'm confident. Uh, uh, mostly. Uh, and uh, My teams, they are the players who will score. They come in a position and... So finally, in, in the last part, it's also about, uh, say, the freedom from a player, the intuition, uh, the, the space they have to take. And when they have that feeling, then you will see players, um, when they are, have the talent, when they have the potential, they will score that number of goals. And I think we have in our squad, we have, we have the players who can score that number of goals, but um, we get also divided. Uh, because we have many goal scorers um, across the whole offensive department, um, but I think also you need to also something from midfield and defending department. Yeah, Eric, you've got a really important week now in the Premier League with three matches back to back against against tough rivals. What difference does that goal from Scott make to your build up to that week? I go always from game to game, and um, it gives another. Uh, impulse on the team uh, to the to the belief. I think uh, that uh, the spirit is already good, but it will uh, give a push um, in that spirit again, and it will strengthen the belief in the squad. And but for the rest, yeah, you uh, we have to go for game to game, and uh, yeah, well, we going to be tough opponents, but uh, really we are really looking forward. There are really tests for us uh, for us as as a squad. To, to go in their battles and, as I say, it uh, delivers energy. How highly do you rate Newcastle? They do really well. Uh, um, I think it's a team who can play in, in high intensity uh, with a lot of energy. Um, so that's, uh, that makes it a tough opponent. And we know we have to play our best to get the right result. We've seen a couple of midfield combinations, such as the likes of, excuse me, Casemiro, Ericsson, Fred, Tommy were all combining. Do you, do you know what your, your strongest midfield pairing is? Mm, difficult to say in this moment, uh, then they have to play longer together. Uh, but what's important, once again, we, have, we need a squad. And if you say, I think Fred played a good game uh, to the, uh, tonight and it was really well did he in the, in the counter press uh, wins, a, wins a lot of balls unluckily he didn't score the goal uh, it was a really good move from him uh, and then the, uh, received the chip ball and not scoring the header uh, that, uh, and that is that, that's all a kind of impact you have to, to give to the team uh, but I think we have some combinations and it's about, in the midfield, always about balance. And um, so I'm happy with all four and I hope they, they keep going in this way. Here are you. Uh, Eric, Marcus Rashford maybe could have scored four goals tonight. There's some good goalkeeper, also maybe not so good finishing. What, what can you say to him about his performance just to, to improve? Yeah. <laughs> he did a lot of things well. But finally, uh, um, and he knows that he has to be more clinical and he had to score a goal. Uh, that, um, um, when you have such good movements, you make such good combinations, you have so good, um, good actions, uh, then um, you have to, to finish. But I know sometimes it's the game, it's not your, your night and it's about uh, so the form of the day, but it can change. Uh, to another game uh, because I think he's in a really good run and that that proves uh, the chances he creates uh, and now he's two games he's a little bit unlucky uh, Sunday he deserves a goal uh, what they cancelled today he didn't score and maybe it was more by himself so what I say save it for coming week can we just check on team news for Sunday, Eric, especially Maguire and Martial? And if they're not ready for Sunday, do you have any idea when they will be ready? Um, Anthony Martial um, can be, but we have to wait how it develops coming uh, coming hours. And Harry Maguire uh, will not make this, but, um, but a, a 
doesn't take long, I think. Weeks, a couple of weeks. No, no, no. I, I think that the next week he will he will be back in the team training or over next week. Um, just wanted to talk about. Yeah. Oh, Eric, can I just ask about Anthony? Obviously, he scored in his first three Premier League matches since joining, but it feels like there's more to come from him. What, what can United fans expect from him? Uh, develop, development. And I think you, we have seen a few now from his um, uh, dribble capabilities, his speed, uh, his finishing, uh, also creating. Um, but now also he has to work on, on more variation, and um, and he is a player who can adapt quickly to a high level, and is a player who likes challenges and he needs the challenges, and um, yeah, every every training for him is a challenge, every uh, 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 every game is a challenge, and that um, that will make the best out of him, and uh, he likes that, and so. I think there's really a lot of space for improvement with him, but I think he's already in a real good level when you are uh, the first player from, who scored in three um, in a row, three goals for Man United and in, in all history that already shows his potential. Okay, last question. Uh, the, the next three games are obviously against top six clubs in the Premier League. Have the FA given you any guidance as to when there'll be an outcome on Cristiano's charge and whether he will be available for all those three games? No, uh, I don't know when it's um, um, when the defence when that will will be, and so we don't have a timeline.